So I remember when I first received my diagnosis, the first thing I worried about the most was losing my hair, especially as a woman, and especially for someone who's, who does care about her appearance. The possibility of losing my hair, it was devastating. And being able to keep my hair, it helped me feel more normal during a time when everything is upside down. I could look in the mirror and see someone who was determined and resilient and not someone who was sick. I went to work, I went to the gym, and everyone treated me normally, um, which I think, I think that when you're dealing with something like cancer, like yeah, there's treatment, but there's also that sense of internal determination and, and you draw from that strength and being able to keep my hair was part of that. Like I said, I would look in the mirror and see someone strong who was going to survive. And having a, a positive mindset, it's not necessarily a positive, but having a determined mindset can really make the difference when it comes to cancer and surviving cancer and getting through treatment. And I think treatment would have been a lot harder if I'd lost my hair. I think I would have felt defeated and I think it would have really devastated my self-esteem. And it's okay that it's important. People would say, oh, it's just hair, it'll grow back. And I would be like, well, why don't you shave your head? <laughs> um, there's nothing wrong with caring about your hair. There's nothing wrong with that. It's not shallow, it's not vain. Hair is a deeply profound experience. It's a part of our identity. It's a part of who we are. It's a part of who we put in the world. And cancer is already such a sinister and awful illness that if you can keep your hair through it, that's like one way to beat it. It's like, no, you're, you're going to take all these things from me, right? Like I, I had a double mastectomy, so I've lost my breasts. Things have changed. Like I've lost that youthful sense of invincibility, but I kept my hair. I wasn't going to let it take my hair. So cancer isn't a cheap illness, and on top of facing the expenses associated with treatment and with everything else, Hair to Stay made it financially possible um, to do, use the cold caps and keep my hair. So without Hair to Stay, I don't think I'd have my hair today. Without the subsidy, I think Maybe I would still do the cold caps, but I would have gone broke trying to save my hair. It was that important and it was that critical to my survival. So I'm really glad that Hair's Day was there to alleviate some of the financial burden associated with cancer treatment.